Mental Health Act, LI, was gazetted on June 14, 2019, if you recall, and passed by Parliament on June, last July 19, 2019, and published on January 22, 2020. But what does this really mean for mental health care in this country? When Delaye has been finding out. The publication of the legislative instrument spells out the details of the implementation of the Mental Health Act 846 and will enable the Mental Health Authority and other allied agencies work effectively. There are areas that the law deliberately does not touch. It leaves the ally to spell them out. For instance, the law says if anybody is aggressive, you have a relative who is aggressive, you can send a person to the hospital. If the hospital agrees that this patient requires admission because it's a danger to himself or to others, then, and you have the resources, then you can admit through a certificate of agency. So without that, we really, we have been admitting, but truly speaking, the admission is illegal. Another benefit that comes with the publication is the setting up of a mental health tribunal. While the assemblies will be expected to make budgetary allocations for mental health care. If a patient is admitted to the hospital and he thinks it's a wrongful admission, he can appeal to the tribunal and within 48 hours the tribunal should convene and decide that they agree that the admission is legitimate or the admission is wrongful. If it's wrongful, they will order the facility to discharge the person. Traditional healers, faith-based healers, prayer camps, they have a big stick in this matter. And you are going to train them. A portion says that if they abuse the rights of patients, if a patient goes there and they put them in shackles, they have violated the law and they can be sanctioned. Chief Executive Officer of the Mental Health Authority, Dr. Kwesiose, says the strategy on mental health within the next four years would also cost 560 million cities. That will come through the establishment of the levy. The levy, a tax, the Minister for Finance will decide on how that tax is to be established and we are discussing with them. He indicated the authority is yet to receive the first tranche of 15 million cities from the Health Ministry. Wendy Lai, TV3 News.